What's up, guys? Welcome back to Real Bucks Talk, where we go over everything Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and on occasion, some college prospects. If that sounds like something you're interested in, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Hit the like button as well. But with that said, let's jump into some player highlights. Jason Pierre-Paul is our next guy up to talk about. And, dude, he's another guy that's very consistent, but when he, I guess he's on the field, right? So he had nine and a half sacks last season, four forced fumbles, two interceptions. Doubled his career year. So uh, what do you think of Mr. JPP? Yeah, Jason Pierre-Paul is, like, like you said, a stud, especially when he's on the field. And for the most part of his career, he has been. Doesn't miss a lot of time. Uh, he's had some injuries here and there. But, man, it, the guy just gives maximum effort uh, pretty much every play, as you're going to see him lining up inside here next to Vita Vea. Just really just wins off the snap. They don't know who to block. And Jason Pierre-Paul gets the first sack of the season here for the Buccaneers. I loved it even more because it's drilling Drew, Drew Brees into the ground, just finishing him there. But, I mean, it just shows the multiple ways he can be used. He's not just an outside rusher. He can rush from the inside. Buccaneer fans know about this. It is as clean as you can get through. He doesn't get touched. Okay, cool. But this is just one of the sacks, just showing the ways he can be used in a defense. And I love his celebrations, passion, power on the field. Now, for a typical edge rusher, rushing the edge, using that length, getting up and under this guy. Look at this get off. I mean, this – Offensive lineman doesn't have any time to get back to get in his position. Check out JPP just immediately winning the edge. Check this out. Boom. Like a rocket out there. What do you like? Yeah, you said it. The the first step is just, you know, insane. You know, legit, quick get off. I mean, this is really how he gets most of his sacks. Uh, at least a few of them I, I've seen over the years with the Buccaneers. He just beats guys right off the snap. And he can get use that length, like you said, that dip. You look at the bend, the length and ability to step up towards the quarterback, really impressive. Always got to love his celebrations. Again, and then if you put a tight end in front of him, get the hell out of the way. It's almost embarrassing what he does to this tight end. I mean, this guy is more of a pass-catching tight end. It's almost a disgrace to JPP here as he just literally long-arms him straight into the quarterback, tosses him aside, ends up forcing a fumble. We don't recover, but, hey, either way, hell of a nasty edge rush full, just long arm into the quarterback. What do you think? Right. It shows his versatility. Like he can beat you with power. He can beat you with speed. Uh, so he's very versatile. Uh, yeah. And really shouldn't be putting a tight end on him. I mean, he's just going to bulldoze like you show there. He takes him right back into the quarterback, causes a fumble. And then here, now he's lined up on the outside again. We're just going to see some, you know, just that flexibility, that speed off the edge and be able to really close quickly like his his ability to get there so fast to the quarterback direct flight of path uh is very impressive i mean gets hit in the face doesn't matter just keeps on going knocks the crap out of nick Foles. <laughs> that's something i want to touch on so he's coming at you at full speed you throw hands right in the face could have been a flag but the fact that he stays the course kind of shrugs those hands off and still look at him powering through getting those leg drive towards a quarterback he doesn't get knocked off balance continuing gets up and under the, the tackle ends up getting a sack fumble again i mean yeah he's lengthy he's he's powerful he's fast he's got all the little tricks of the trade you want and then here's a nice little inside move here sh shrugging those hands off of his face yet again to move inside and end up getting the sack it's just yeah like you said total package and now he's faking the inside move check this out poor guy rookie welcome to the league gives him a little fake inside and then jumps Back outside, just let it show on tape first. Nasty, quick little jab inside, pop back outside, get over the top of the tackle. Tackle's reaching. Then Danny Dime trying to get out of there. Nope, can't do it. Break it down a little bit more. Right, like you say, he just has a full arsenal. Uh, you know, he's been in this league for over 10 years now. He's a veteran. He, he, he knows what to do to attack these offensive linemen. And there's really, there's nothing he hasn't seen. So he's just taking his game to the next level. I mean, you're going to see it here now lined up again on the outside. You know, just watch him just kind of – he stays patient, gets back to the quarterback. So, really, he's showing you everything. Like, even if he is stopped, like like he is here, um, as he's trying to win to the outside, he has that ability to still make a play on the football because he's always, you know, around it. You know, he's finding ways to get back to the quarterback. And he's not being immature. He's not just continuing to run around the edge. He knows this guy is going to have to break out. There's pressure. He's just – Buying, playing team ball, right? He knows his guys are getting inside pressure. He's going to try and have to bail out some way. Let me stay in the play. And 
oops, what do you know? I got a sack out of it. And I just, I love his effort on the field. Motor never stops. And then also in the running game, what do you like with this? Yeah, run game. I mean, he just has very good awareness. He understands when it is a run play or if it's a pass play. So his ability to read it very quickly, as you see here, he can get down the line, um, you know, unblocked here, and he's just going to make the tackle come downhill. Uh, so he's very sound assignment, but he just manhandles the tight end and takes the running back down. Um, but you see at times when he is doubled, he can fight through it. But here, again, it goes back to putting a tight end on him. Yeah, Don't it's do just it. not very smart. Because yeah, he's going to be bigger and usually lengthier than any tight end that goes up against him. So he can win with strength, getting lower man. Look at that knee flexion here, getting that leverage to kind of push off, extend those arms, and then body him, strength, use that lengthy ass arm of his to kind of bring down the running back. Yeah, okay, he doesn't have that many fingers. Who the hell cares? The dude does it consistently every year. I love it. And now he's looking healthy in training camp. I like it, I like it. Yeah, here again, uh, they try to put a tight end on him as this is becoming a theme, and uh, he's just too strong, too fast, and he can really disrupt plays. I mean, he doesn't really make the tackle here, but he makes the play because the play's already disrupted because he got in the backfield. So as you can see, he's very excited about it. Uh, so, I mean, JPP is just a, he's a motor, like all go. He, he's basically, um, you know, a Mustang full full blast all the time. And moral of the story, don't put a tight end over JPP. I mean, it's just a mistake. <laughs> yeah. And then now, the passing game. I mean, this is something Todd Bowles used a, a lot in. And we got mad early on in the season because Shaq and JPP weren't just doing a good job of it. But then again, look at this. Playmaker, reading the play what's in front of him, seeing it's going to be a little screen, sticking with the play, not getting overzealous, read and react. And what do you know? He can do something with the ball after it. What do you like? Yeah, again, it's just, like you said, being in the right position. He's he's holding his man up. Again, tight end, can't block him, so he's just holding him up, reading the play, he understands, okay, screen's coming. Kind of gets a gift here, and, you know, falls into his lap. So, But, again, it's being in the right spot and taking advantage of it. A spatial awareness, knowing what the play is going to happen, what, what's going on with the play, right? And then more again, more passing coverage. How is he in here? This time he holds on to it. What do you like? Yeah, this is really nice. I, I like this. I, this shows his ability to drop back, uh, and he actually, you know, turns his hips really nice as he gets back, turns his hips, gets better in position here, and then breaks on the football, makes a nice catch. That's a difficult catch, especially for, you know, a guy that size being able to churn and then go back the other way. Really impressive by JPP. And people are like, why did he throw it to him? He literally threw it right to JPP. I mean, when you see a number 90, you don't expect a guy like that to catch the ball. I mean, defensive linemen aren't really dropping back that much. Credit to Todd Bowles and his amazing scheme. And JVP, I don't know what the heck kind of dance move that is, but we all love it. And then more opportunities where he, he legit could have probably had a pick six here. He drops it again. If he comes down with these next year, look out league. I mean, he may have another bright, shining season if he plays all, all the games, of course. But, I mean, what do you see here? Yeah, like, again, it's just he's in the right spot, and unfortunately he doesn't come up with it this time. Uh, so, yeah, I, he's going to have more opportunities like this because of what the defense asked for. Um, here you're going to see it. This was another opportunity for a pick six. I mean, he really breaks on the football like a corner here, and he knows he could have had a touchdown. Um, just has to come down with a catch. So, yeah, if he can get those hands more consistent, Man, the, the sky's the limit. You could see a guy with 10 sacks and maybe five interceptions if it, if it comes that way. And what's crazy, though, is that he just got better throughout the season. I mean, this isn't like a young guy developing into something. This is a veteran that was learning, again, I got to drop back now, learn to change my body, too. He used to be 280s, higher 280s, and now he's like 265, dropping back, getting his hands on balls, almost getting pick sixes. I mean, JVP is still a consummate professional, great all-pro, I mean, Hopefully he gets a little bit more respect as well. Only, what, three-time Pro Bowler? He's a Pro Bowler, the only Pro Bowler on the team last year. You can see why based on the film. But, guys, let us know down below. Give us some comments. Let us know how we did. What do you think of JPP? If you like the video, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't just yet. Again, let us know. And with that said, until the next one.